Hello, in this lecture you'll get a quick introduction to the Azure DevOps. Now, what is this Azure DevOps? Basically, in Azure DevOps you can create an organization. You can also create a project in the organization and then the project will contain one or multiple repositories. So, why is this better than GitHub? Well, first of all, the project does not contain just, just the repositories. It contains a lot more. You can actually create features, you can create uh, all those backlogs and all that management stuff in a very nice way. It's a neat and tight way. It's not like GitHub. It's not a mess, it's not old-fashioned. It's very modern, very bright, very contemporary. So you have all these features plus you get these builds, you get builds, deployments, all that automation if you of course want to use that. And you also get the wiki. So now let's take a look at all that and let's first of all create a project. And also I just want to mention you should use the same account for the Azure DevOps as you use for the Visual Studio. It will work a lot smoother that way because you do need to be connected to that uh, particular organization with the same account that you are on the Visual Studio. So let's create that project. Let's create that project and you click on that and you enter a name for the project. So let's say test project test project just like that and you could also enter the description and then you have either private or public in this case I would do private it doesn't really matter it's all actually free for the organization up to five people everything is free so that's probably one of the best parts of this and we will look at some other great parts later but for now let's create that project and if you go to advanced you will see some interesting things first of all the version control you see this git and then you can see team foundation version control now we won't be getting into the team foundation version control it's a totally different thing it's uh, a bit more advanced thing and you actually have to learn how to use the TFBC not just the Visual Studio. So we'll get started with Git and you might ask yourself why is this Git version control if this isn't GitHub? Well the answer is probably quite simple. Microsoft actually owns GitHub so in turn since GitHub repositories are pos quite popular. GitHub or Git repositories are used here. Now the actual repository is pretty much the same as the GitHub, you will see all that. But it is a lot easier to use it through the Azure DevOps. And then you have work item process. So we currently have Agile. We could have basic, we could have CMMI, we could have Scrum. So again, this is a totally different thing, this is a management thing, we will just go with Agile, it really makes no difference for the repository part. So now let's click, click create, let's click create and your new project is being created right now. So we have our test project and then you can invite people to the project to join the project and you have it private you can't change that you can change the name and then you have the summary and then you have dashboards dashboards are a really nice feature really nice feature you can add a widget and say if you want to know what work items are assigned to you, you simply add this one assigned to me. If you want to have your build history, you add this one. And there are many of them, there are many of them. 
So, for example, code title displays the number of recent changes in the code repository. We all have some sort of decent description, so it's very easy to use. And once you get a hang of it, you won't be able to leave this Azure DevOps thing. So we won't be adding any widgets. We will just move on to the wiki, take a quick look at the wiki. You can actually create wiki or you could publish code as wiki, but I don't like that. I prefer having a wiki as a sort of separate entity. There's no need to make it as a code. Now let's, let's take a look at the wiki. Have that project wiki and we have one page currently new page we don't actually have it yet so if you say test page and you click save you will have all that plus you get a preview so if you write something say test 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 you get the preview like that if you do bold you get the preview of the board it works quite well actually it works perfectly I would say so then you have these boards so in boards you have work items all that different stuff and we leave also this is a great feature this is a great feature now I did not save my wiki page and it actually noticed that and it is stating now if I want to leave or not it doesn't have all those uh, nasty default uh, browser pop-ups it's a beautifully made sort of custom pop-up window and as you can see you can actually drag it so it's a really beautiful platform and I would definitely recommend to try it and then we can leave actually we can go we went to the work items so you can create a new work item so you have a feature you click on feature and you can create a new feature now you may think this is only useful for managers uh, for people who are actually gonna have a team to work with and you might think if I have only two or three people I don't need that but you should try it once in a while it might be quite useful especially for some more deta detailed systems it might come in handy so now we won't get into all these builds and pipelines and deployment groups and all that although it's quite useful it can be quite useful but it is quite difficult to work with we won't get into that it doesn't really matter it doesn't concern the Visual Studio what does concern the Visual Studio is the repository part the repository part so as you can see by default you get this one repository you get this one repository but what we will do we will actually create a project in Visual Studio that will be in the next lecture and we will upload it we will create a repository from that and we will actually upload it to this uh, uh, to this test project that's gonna be very interesting and once that is done we will get back to the Azure and we will take a look at these files and what we look like since we don't have anything yet we can't take a look at anything and first of all we need to actually create some code and publish it to this repository and with that we will conclude this lecture